Uh, and, and we are we are very grateful, Mayor, and we're very grateful to be invited here tonight, particularly in the Graham Hick Pavilion. And there's a, a story about that. Um, we remember seeing Graham probably probably in the Nat West Trophy days when we, we used to sit over there, sort of between the bar and the cathedral. And I played rubbish cricket at the time, found seeing people hit big sixes and things, big looping shots, you know. And then we come to see Graham Hick. And he sort of settled down, Fran was reading a paper and I was watching the cricket and I said to her, you know, you want to you watch this bloke? And it was a good job I did. He hit the ball. Uh, it was as though it hadn't moved at all. It was as though it was just getting bigger, coming straight towards us. And I swear <laughs> that that ball was still going up as it went over our heads. If it hit us, it would have taken us out. It was absolutely fantastic. So you can imagine that last year when I was the mayor, what an honour it was to come to the opening of the Graham Hick Pavilion. Yeah. And of course, the Tom Graham Lounge. It was um, the hero of many of us, I'm sure. And I had the opportunity that day to, to have lunch with, with Tom and his daughter, and uh, Percy, the chairman of the, uh, of the club, and Mervyn King from the Bank of England, in, in what is one of um, a very, very memorable day. But there have been other days associated with sport and Worcester that uh, we've managed to do as mayor and mayoress. Um, we, we've been chatting about them today and trying to think of, of which ones they were. The one yeah, was we had the opportunity to meet the most successful English sporting team since 1966, an all conquering team. And we got the chance to meet them in the mayor's parlor, have tea with them and come down here. And, and I'm sure that you'll realize I'm talking about the, the women's England cricket team absolutely invincible. <coughs> that was a great afternoon out. Um, we also have done some other things. Uh, I should say, by the way, that Charlotte Edwards on that day and those uh, women who were in that team were not only great players, and we come down and saw they were not only great standard, but, but fantastic ambassadors for the sport and real role models. Um, we've also met other people that can, at a different level, that are also role medals. Uh, models, people like Cecil Duckworth, who was, by the way, the last person to become uh, a freeman uh, 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 of the city of Worcester for all he's done, not only in sport but in other things. And um, we've done some other stuff with Wynn. Uh, we've went to the biggest sporting um, participant event in the Midlands, I think. 3,700 Wynn uh, women running in the race for life. That was quite a thing, having to stand up on there and sort of I was the warm act, that warm up act for uh, the Nivea boys or something. It was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're all waiting to come on, and they can see 3,700 lycra clad women looking and thinking, "When's the fat old bloke going to get off and the young lads get on?" You know? but, but that was a, for, it was a great day. We also went to a swimming gala, 200, 200 entrants at the swimming gala in, in Sandsworth Moor, an archery competition. That was a new one for us. I knocked out where the the cost, to be honest, of, of, of the equipment, but also the fact that anybody could enter into it. You know, they would take it, take anybody on, on from scratch. Um, I've strutted my stuff for the university cheerleaders, I'll mention that in passing. We went to St George's Lane, um, we saw um, uh, we saw the stars of Hollyoaks, I'd never heard of any of them, but there we are, they, were, they, they played football. <laughs> and, um, oh yes, we also, um, I also started off the, um, the 9K Santathon, which I say carefully because the first time I said it, Francis thought I said Santa's song. So, uh, <laughs> the, but of all those things, I, I, I can honestly say that nothing was more pleasurable than um, going to the junior football, the, the mini football, which I went on to uh, at, uh, at, uh, at uh, well, it was, I can't remember what the name of the school was then, but it, it, it's, it's now Tudor Academy. But it, we went there and we also went to, to, to St George's Lane. And Sue Bentley's not here now this evening, but she was the, the, the person who was bringing all that together. All these little bees going all over the place and playing the hearts out. And the point about mentioning Sue, although she's not here, is that she's sort of representative of a lot of you who are here the people who help out, the people who, who, the secretaries, the chairman, the treasurers, the coaches, the umpires, referees, the judges, statisticians, <coughs> and not forgetting the cleaners of the kit and the unofficial taxi drivers. All those people who do the less glamorous stuff that give people a start. And I know we're going to have winners here this evening, and 
all congratulations go to those winners and they will go to them. But just for one moment, can I say on behalf of the city <coughs> to everyone else who helps, we recognise that nobody gets into participative sport at any level without assistance. And people who are doing the helping are incredibly valuable. So tonight, well done the winners, but from the citizens of Worcester, if I may speak on their behalf, our special thanks go to all those who facilitate. And I include in that Sports Worcester. Thanks very much indeed.